When it comes to implementing bullet physics in Unity, understanding how to efficiently spawn and control bullet movements as well as handle collisions with fast moving objects become very crucial. In this tutorial, we'll see how to implement bullet physics in Unity and how to ensure smooth movement and accurate collision detection. We'll also discuss a raycast technique that doesn't require a bullet prefab, so stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So let's first get the scene set up. So we'll add a plane, 3D object plane. So let's reset it. A player will be a 3D object capsule. Okay. And reset that. Let's keep it somewhere here. Okay. Now the player needs a gun. Sorry, let's add another 3D object. A cylinder. Now this will be our gun. So let's just rotate it by 90 degrees. Keep it here. Scale it by 0.5 in all axes. Okay, let's go near it. Okay, and let's keep it somewhere like this. Okay, so this is our player, something like a robot that's going to shoot bullets. So the plane is a little small, so let's expand it by say three in the X and three in the Z. Now let's make the cylinder a child of capsule. So this will rename as player. So now we have our player, so we need a target. So let's add a cube, video object cube. We'll call this target. Okay, I'll keep it somewhere here. Okay, and let's increase the width to three. Now three is very small, let's make it 10. And in the Y, 10. Okay, so this is our target. Now just to differentiate things, I have some materials here. So I'll make the plane black, the target red. Okay, so all that is left is to spawn bullets and hit the target. So first we need a point to spawn the bullet. So let's spawn the bullet in front of the player, like somewhere here. So this is going to be the gun barrel. So we'll, we'll spawn the bullet somewhere here. So let's add an empty object, create empty, and we'll call it bullet spawn point. Okay, let's move it a little bit to the front and just make sure it is somewhere. So I guess that is enough. So we'll spawn the bullet exactly in front of the player. So we'll also make the bullet spawn point a uh, child of the player so that when the player rotates, the spawn point also rotates. Next, we need a bullet prefab. So we'll use the default unity spear for that. Spear. We'll reset the positions. But the sphere is too large, so let's resize it to maybe 0.2 in all axis. Okay, we'll call this bullet. Now this is going to need a rigid body, so let's add a rigid body here. Okay, so in real life the bullet is supposed to actually fall down due to gravity, but since this is a game, we are not going to use gravity on it. We want the bullet to travel on a straight line. So we'll uncheck use gravity. Now we need a script to push the bullet in the forward direction. So since this is the forward direction, this is Z direction. Okay. So we'll need a script for that. So let's add a new script called bullet move. Create an add. Now let's edit the script. The first thing that we'll need is the rigid body component. So let's create a variable of type rigid body. Let's call it RB. Okay. And inside start, we are going to say RB equal to get component rigid body. Okay. Then we need a bullet move speed. So let's just serialize field so that we'll be able to enter the speed from the inspector. And it will be a float. And we'll call it 
bullet speed. To move the bullet in the forward direction, we are just going to say rb dot velocity equal to transform dot forward and we'll multiply that with bullet speed. So this will basically ask the bullet to move in the forward direction at the, at the speed specified by the user. So that's it. We'll go back to Unity. Now I'll just drag the bullet to our project window so that it becomes a prefab and I'll delete it from our scene. Now everything is set. All that we need is to spawn the bullet. So we'll go to the player and we'll add a script called shooting. Now let's edit the script. So what we need here is serialized field. Uh, first one we need is the bullet prefab. So it's going to be a game object, which is a bullet prefab. Next, we're going to need the spawn position. So we're going to say serialize field and transform um, bullet spawn boss. Okay, so inside start, uh, we don't need a start here. We'll do it under update. Okay, so we're just going to say f input dot get mouse button down, and we are going to take the left mouse button, so it's going to be zero. And if somebody clicks the mouse button, we're going to say instantiate. First thing is the bullet prefab and the position is going to be bullet spawn post dot position. And then for the rotation, we're going to set the rotation of the spawn point to the bullet. Uh, the reason we are doing that is when the player turns, the bullet also should turn in that direction so that when we ask the bullet to move forward, it will move in that direction. So this is going to be bullet spawn post dot rotation okay so this is done let's go back to unity now we need to assign the bullet prefab so let's assign that then we need the spawn position so let's assign that so let's play the game now uh, before we fire we need to set the speed of our bullet so let's set it to five now let's give the left mouse button so the bullet is going hitting the target and staying there. So now we need to destroy the bullet. So let's go back to our script. So not this one, the bullet move script. And here we're going to say void on collision enter collision call. Okay. So we're going to say destroy game object. So you don't require to say this dot game object because by default the game object is considered as this one. So let's go back to Unity and let's play the game. So now if we shoot the bullet, the bullet goes, hits the target and gets destroyed. So you can start shooting as many bullets as you want. Everything goes, hits the target and gets destroyed. Now generally bullets travel much faster than this. So if you select the bullet prefab and Set the speed to like 50 and then start shooting. So the bullet spawns, hits, and goes. The problem comes when you increase the speed to say something greater, like the 100. 100 seems to be fine. Let's set it to 200. So, see, when, when we're shooting at a speed of 200, the prefab is basically going through the plane and not getting destroyed. So, this is because Unity's collision physics is not able to detect an uh, object that is moving at that speed. There are different ways to solve this. Uh, the one option is to just select the bullet and set the collision detection to continuous. And now if you play the game, the speed is set to 200 and you can see that the bullet is getting destroyed. Now this is okay if you have a static collider, that is the target is a static object, so you're able to hit it. So if you have a dynamic object, this might not work you will have to set the collision detection to continuous dynamic on the moving object and on the bullet. So this is very performance expensive if you're shooting like thousands of bullets and if you have more than one player 
So you cannot actually detect a collision of high velocity object without uh, sacrificing the performance. So you have to use collision detection in continuous mode to basically find that. But the main issue here is when a bullet is actually moving at such high speed, it is not visible. So the other option here is unless you want to show the bullet on camera, you can basically do the shooting mechanics without a bullet prefect. So all you have to do is to rake us from the spawn point in the direction of the shooting. And if it hits something, you can spawn a damage or a bullet hole here. You don't have to instantiate hundreds of bullets and destroy them. So this is very performance friendly. So you just you replace all the bullet uh, physics with just a single ray cast from the spawn point towards the target. Now to do that, all you have to do is just remove the player script, player shooting script, remove component, and at the bullet spawn point, we are going to add a new shooting script called ray shooting. So if you go to ray shooting and see what is the inside on mouse button down, that means when we are pressing the mouse button down, we are just going to ray cast and to a distance of 300 so if you have a larger area or you want to shoot for a large area then increase this range so if it hits something so we are just going to debug log so you can basically deal damage inside this if statement so let's go back to unity and see how it works so since we are not spawning any prefabs here so there's no physics involved in this so let's open the console window let's fire it up the other advantage of this raycast is this is almost instant you can have it's almost like infinite speed the time when you press the mouse left button is the time when it hits the target so even when the target is little far away so let's just select the target and move it back so maybe in the z yeah let's move it back a little bit and then if we start firing you can see the target is hit almost instantaneously so once the target is hit you can decide what you want to do you can spawn bullet holes or you can deal damage the other advantage of this method is if you want to implement friendly fire you can just add the friend game objects to a different layer and ignore them from the raycast so to summarize you can use physics and collision if your bullet is moving at a very small speed and if you want to increase the speed and still want to detect the collision, you can use continuous collision detection. And if you want to hit a dynamic object, then you need to set the collision detection on the dynamic object to continuous dynamic. And the best option is to use a ray cast from the spawn point towards the target and not spawn any prefab set. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.